Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the Diels Alder reaction. What is this Diels Alder reaction? This is one type of pericyclic reactions. Pericyclic reactions are a group of reactions where the electrons are delocalized or rearranged. For example, the pi bonds can be rearranged into the sigma bonds. Otherwise, the pi electrons can be delocalized to another position. In this way, there is a rearrangement and relocation of the electrons, which is initiated by a supply of energy. So, Diels Alder reaction is one type of pericyclic reactions. And today in this video, we are going to see how this reaction takes place and how the product is going to be formed. First of all, let us see the requirements for the Diels Alder reaction. This reaction is going to be takes place between the conjugated diene. So a diene is required, which is having a conjugated double bonds and a dienophile. Dienophile is a compound which can attack the diene such that it can undergo a pericyclic reaction. And apart from this, we have to supply the energy. This energy can be supplied in the form of thermal energy or photo energy. We can supply the UV radiation. And whenever this energy is going to be supplied, the reaction can take place and it can produce a cycloaddition product. So this reaction requires the two components. One is the diene. So we are going to take a simple 1,3-butadiene. And this diene is going to interact with the other component. This is the dienophile. So let us take again simple example of uh, ethene. And when they are undergoing a reaction in of uh, thermal energy or photo energy, they can produce a cyclic product like this. Now this product is nothing but a simple cyclohexene. So this is a simple Diels Alder reaction where a diene is going to interact with a dienophile to produce a cyclic addition product. Let us take another example. This is a diene and now this diene is going to react with a dienophile. How this reaction is going to take place? In the diene we can observe the two pi bonds and the dienophile one pi bond. When these are going to react they are going to form a product which is having a cyclic structure. You can see here the dienophile acts as a supplier of the pi bonds. Now the pi bond within the dienophile can interact with this uh, carbon and it can form a sigma bond. And immediately this pi bond is going to be delocalized here and it is going to form another pi bond here. And consequently this pi bond is going to convert to another sigma bond. In this way they are going to form a linkage between the two compounds and they can produce a cyclic product. So now the cyclic product is a cyclohexene derivative with dimethyl substitution. What happened to the pi bonds? Again, let us take the previous example, but now let us indicate the pi bonds with the different colors. So this is the diene and this diene is going to interact with the dienophile. So if we see the what are the pi bonds present in the diene and dienophile before the reaction, the diene is having the two pi bonds and dienophile is having the one pi bond. In order to differentiate these pi bonds, we have given the different color. The pi bonds which are shown by the yellow color are going to be converted into sigma bonds. And the pi bond which is indicated by blue color is simply delocalized. So here one of the pi bond in the dienophile can be converted into a sigma bond like this. And then the pi bond which is shown by the blue color can be delocalized to the adsend pi bond. And finally, the another sigma bond, which is shown by yellow color, is going to be converted to a sigma bond. Now it is going to give a product like this. Now this product is having two new sigma bonds, which are indicated by the red color. And one of the pi bond, which is delocalized, which is shown by the blue color. So now in this product, how many pi bonds are there? Only one pi bond is present. In this way, in Diels Alder reaction, few of the pi bonds are going to be converted to sigma bonds and one of the pi bond is going to be delocalized. So now if we see what happened to the pi bonds, initially the diene is having the two pi bonds and dienophile is having the one pi bond. So totally they are having three pi bonds. But whenever they are going to be converted to a product, the product is having one pi bond as well as it is having a newly formed two sigma bonds. So three pi bonds are converted to one pi bond plus two sigma bonds. So simply what we can say that the two pi bonds are converted to two sigma bonds and one pi bond is just delocalized. In this way, in this Diels Alder reaction, two pi bonds are going to be converted to two sigma bonds. One pi bond is supplied by dienophile and another pi bond is supplied by diene. Which type of pericyclic reaction it is? Again, let us take the simple example. This is a 1,3-butadiene, simply it acts as a diene. Now this is going to react with the dienophile. And when this reaction is going to take place, they are going to be converted to a cyclic product like this. 
So during this reaction, the pi bonds are going to be shifted in a cyclic fashion. And because of this delocalization, they are going to form a cyclic product with new sigma bonds. And that's why this type of reaction is called as cycloaddition reaction. But which type of cycloaddition reaction it is? Because the cycloaddition reactions can be indicated by based on the number of pi electrons going to be involved in the reaction. So this deals our reaction is which type of cycloaddition reaction. Let us take one example. Now this is having a diene. This diene is going to interact with a dienophile. How many electrons are there within the diene? Initially it is having the two pi bonds. So four pi electrons are present within the diene. And in the dienophile two pi bonds are there but only one pi bond is going to be involved in the reaction. So what are the pi electrons which are involved in the reaction are only two pi electrons. Now this can undergo a cycloaddition reaction like this so that it is going to give a product like this. Here you can observe that it is not a cyclohexene, it is a cyclohexadiene. The dienophile is initially having the two pi bonds but after the cycloaddition it is having only one pi bond because one pi bond is only involved in the reaction. So here four pi electrons of the diene are going to interact with the two pi electrons of the dienophile and they are going to form a cycloaddition product. So this type of reaction what we call 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. Here we have to indicate with the number of the pi electrons which are involved in the reaction only. So Diels or reaction is a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. Now let us the position of addition. Let us take a simple diene. This is a 1,3 butadiene. And these dienes can undergo addition reactions. For example, if we are going to react with the hydrogen bromide, they can give the two types of products. So this is one product and is the another product. Here, hydrogen bromide is going to be added at the different positions. So in the first one, you can see that the hydrogen is added the first carbon and bromine is added the second carbon. So this type of product, what we call the one two addition product. But in the second example, the hydrogen is added the first carbon but bromine is added the fourth carbon. So this type of product is the 1,4 addition product. In this way, dienes can undergo addition reactions which may be either 1,2 addition or 1,4 addition. But now this deals out reaction is which type of addition reaction, whether it is 1,2 addition or 1,4 addition. So let us take again the same example. We are going to take a conjugated diene which is uh, substituted with the methyl groups. Now this is going to react with a dienophile and they undergo cycloaddition reaction like this and they are going to form a product like this. Now which type of product it is? If you observe at the diene, one of the sigma bond is formed at the first carbon and another sigma bond is going to be formed at the fourth carbon and pi bond is going to be delocalized. So this is a 1,4 addition product. So deals or reaction results in the 1,4 addition product. In this way, the Diels order reaction is one type of pericyclic reaction, which is a cycloaddition reaction, which can also be called as 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. And this 4 plus 2 cycloaddition gives a 1, 4 addition product. Now, let us see if you have the examples and let us see how this product can be formed in this uh, cycloaddition reaction. Let us take one example. Here, the methyl groups are attached at the terminals. This is one of the diene. Now this diene is going to interact with a dienophile. This dienophile is having the aldehyde function groups at the terminals which are the electron withdrawing groups. These electron withdrawing groups are going to increase the activity of the dienophile. And when they are going to react in presence of a light or thermal energy, they can produce a product like this. How can we draw this product? Simply we can shift the molecule like this. And after that we can make two bonds here and we can erase these two bonds. Then we have to shift this double bond to this position. In this way, we can easily draw the structure in the Diels order reaction. Let us take another example. So, this is a cyclopentadiene. This type of diene is more reactive towards a Diels order reaction. Now, this diene is going to interact with a dienophile. Again, we have taken the previous example. Now, what will be the product? So, they are going to form a cycloaddition product like this, but this time they are going to form a bicyclo compound. Because we have taken a cyclic diene, the product will be a bicyclo compound. Again, we can easily draw the product like this. Let us shift the dienophile like this and then put the bonds at these terminals and erase these bonds. And again, we can shift the double bond to this position so that we can complete the structure. Now this bicyclo product can also be represented in this way and this is a cycloheptene derivative. So whenever we are going to take a cyclic conjugated diene, it gives a bicycloalkene as the product. 
Now let us see which type of diens are not suitable for the diels order reaction. For example, let us take the three types of dienes. Which type of diene is not suitable for the diels order reaction? All these are conjugated dienes. And if you see the second example, it is an acyclic conjugated diene. It can undergo the diels order reaction. And second one is again a one of the diene which is a condensed uh, diene which can also undergo diels order reaction. But the first one cannot undergo the diels order reaction because the first one is having the condensed S trans configuration. Whenever it is having the S trans configuration, it it cannot undergo the diels order reaction. So in our next video, we will see the stereochemistry of the diels order reaction and which type of compounds can undergo this reaction and which type of compounds are not suitable and what happens by substitution of the different groups on the dienophile and what is the stereochemistry of the product because sometimes a product can be formed but which can exist as stereoisomers in such case which stereoisomer is formed as a major product all these things we are going to discuss in our next video so that's what today about the deals or reaction if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video